What's happening, everybody? Justin, Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter, and it's finally here. It's a couple days late because I'm dealing with this sickness, but this is the first video of the 2012 Bridgewater's Finest Awards. And where we're going to start things off, we're going to start it off with one of my first loves. And in a continuing effort to show that I'm not just a sports channel, today we're talking about video games. What we're going to be doing on this video is I'm going to be giving you my top five best video games of 2012. So we're going to start things off actually with three honorable mentions. There were games that, had I spent more time with them, they probably would have made it onto the top five list, but I didn't spend very much time with them. Again, with the closure of Blockbuster in Canada, I've found it very hard to keep up with video gaming, and video gaming is a very expensive habit, uh, which I cannot afford in general. So uh, the games that I played this year were the re games that I really, really wanted to play. So... I, I tried to target quality over quantity, so basically any game that I spent a bunch of time with this year that I actually liked is going to be making this list. But just to toss on a couple of honorable mentions there, uh, the first honorable mention is going to be Hitman Absolution. Now Hitman Absolution is available for your Xbox, your PS3, or your PC. Now, this is a third person shooter. and. To be perfectly honest, I like the Hitman uh, folklore with Agent 47. Uh, didn't spend a lot of time with the game. Really only invested maybe an hour and a half to two hours in the game. And that really was a crime because what I played I really enjoyed. And uh, I really wish I could have put more time into it. But based on the fact that I didn't, uh, I couldn't I couldn't put it on the top five, but it is it is a shout out there. Hitman Absolution was a very good game. Wish I could have spent more time with it. Second on the honorable mentions list is Skullgirls. This is available for your Xbox Live Arcade account, your PlayStation Network account, and will be available on PC in 2013. Now, Skullgirls is a 2D indie fighter. This is a, a game that wasn't really put out into the mainstream. It was published uh, in part by Konami. And what this is, is this is just a classic, classic fighting game material, but with really interesting and really funny characters and with an actually intriguing story if you take the time to uh, to pay attention to it. The characters are great. Obviously with the title Skull Girls, they're all girls and they all have something to do with their skulls basically. Uh, it's just a really fun, really exciting fighting game. It's some of the best of fighting games is put into this indie game, proving once again that indie games you, you might not be getting the, the highest quality studios, but with a lot of indie games, you're really, really, really getting passionate video game lovers making these games. Skullgirls was a phenomenal fighting game. That's why I'm giving it an honorable mention on my 2012 Video Game Awards. And the final honorable mention goes to Slender the Eight Pages. Now this is available on your PC, your Mac OS X, and on PSN, XBLA, and Nintendo eStore around quarter two of 2013. Now Slender the Eight Pages is a first person survival horror. I don't have to tell you anything about it because I'm sure you've watched a million and one videos of it on YouTube. I'm putting it on here not so much because I think it's this, you know, oh my god, it's this, oh, amazing game. It's more for the cultural significance, because this game comes out, and the whole uh, fake lore, I guess we'll, I guess is what it's called, uh, around Slender and Slenderman and everything like that, and it just, it became this pop culture phenomenon, really, and everybody was talking about Slender, everybody was doing reaction videos on YouTube of playing this game, so <clears throat> based on the cultural significance to this year, I tossed it on there, Slender the Eight Pages is my final honorable mention on my 2012 Video Game Awards. So let's get into it. Top 5 Best Video Games of 2012. 
My number five is Far Cry 3. Now this is available on your Xbox, your PS3, and your PC. This is a first person RPG shooter. It's an open world game. It's one of those games that I really, really love. It's another game that I didn't get to spend as much time with as I would have liked. I maybe only invested about, I'd say maybe three hours into this game. But it's one of the reviews for this game talked about it's like Skyrim with guns and that's actually a really apt <laughs> sort of uh, description to it uh, there it's open world non-linear which in general are good things sometimes that can get a little tiresome but in general it's a good thing to have a non-linear sort of open world kind of game where you can stray off and 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 do a bunch of side quests and do a bunch of other things Far Cry 3 is a beautifully modeled game they spent a lot of time making the graphics look fantastic in the game again a game I wish I could have spent more time with because I love the genre we'll probably be hearing from this genre again later in the uh, list not to uh, spoil anything but Far Cry 3 is my number five best game of 2012. My number four best game of 2012 is Dishonored. This is Dishonored for your Xbox, your PS3, and your PC. Now this is a first person stealth action adventure where you take the role of basically an assassin. Well, he becomes an assassin, essentially. Basically, uh, hunting people down and slitting throats. This game is all about being stealthy, not being detected, and it is just a ton of fun. Another game that I wish I could have spent more time with it. I put maybe four to five hours into the game, but it's just, it's so much fun, and it's, sometimes the, the art and the modeling makes people look a little sort of big, almost like they were out of WWE All-Stars or something, but in general, the game is just fantastic. The voice acting is very well done. You know what? Just a fun game. Just a really great game. And especially if you enjoy, like, the stealth kind of genre. If you enjoy, like, let's say you play Skyrim and you like being an archer. Or you like being an assassin. Someone that depends on not being detected. This game is going to be a ton of fun for you. And I believe it also holds a ton of replay value as well. That's what people have been telling me. Dishonored is my number four best game of 2012. Now we get into the real meat and potatoes. Number three on my list of best game for 2012, The Walking Dead, the video game. Now this is available on your Xbox, on your PS3, and on your PC. Also available on a per episode basis on XBLA, PSN, and the Mac OS X. Now this is a third person point and click adventure. I kind of also wanted to call it survival horror, but most accurately you can call it a point and click and it follows the same concept as the walking dead television show if you're a fan of the walking dead television show i promise you you are going to love this game uh not only did i do a full playthrough of this game myself but i also had the opportunity to watch a couple of friends of mine von whiskey and tim conway over at the 8-bit massacre i got to watch both of them through their streams on twitch tv which i'll also link in the description to this video go and check out their streams uh, both of them streamed basically a full playthrough of this game, so it was awesome to get to watch the game from three different unique perspectives, because we all played the game slightly differently. It was... It ended up being a really immersive experience, not only through my own playthrough, but watching two other people basically play the game through from start to finish. Again, if you love The Walking Dead, I promise you you're going to love this game. It's not a huge investment money-wise, but it's going to be a ton of fun for you. The Walking Dead, the game, is my number three best game of 2012. My runner-up for best game of 2012 is WWE 13. Now this is available on your Xbox, on your PS3, and on your Nintendo Wii. Now this is a 3D professional wrestling game, the follow-up, the sequel to WWE 12, which was hugely successful last year. Now WWE 13 offers not just the WWE fan, but the professional wrestling fan the opportunity to not only have a game with all of the modern stars of professional wrestling, certainly in WWE anyway, but allows you to relive what is quite possibly the best era of professional wrestling, which is the Attitude Era. Rather than a Road to WrestleMania mode or something like that, WWE 13 gives you the Attitude Era, where you relive live and recreate matches and moments and promos and everything from 
the Attitude Era and from the era of the Monday Night Wars between WWE and WCW. This game offers you the ability to basically create your own wrestling federations and it's a very immersive gameplay with the WWE Universe Mode, Create a Wrestler, everything like that. You will spend hours and hours with this game just creating you and your friends. And, it, and in my case, we had a backyard wrestling league when I was growing up, so I'm recreating the whole damn thing, and I'm bringing everybody in from that roster, and people in from other wrestling things that I've done in the past. WWE 13 offers its players a hugely immersive gameplay experience. WWE 13 is my number two best game on the year. And finally, the granddaddy of them all, my number one best game of 2012 is Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 is available on your Xbox, PS3, PC, and Mac OS X. Now this is a first person RPG shooter. First person shooter with RPG elements. I contend that the Borderlands series is probably the finest example of that genre. I love the Borderlands series, and Borderlands 2 takes everything, really, that they did in Borderlands 1, and it's more of the same, but better. I find it has better characters, had better story, I liked the shooting mechanics better, um, I didn't necessarily like the bosses and the enemies better, aside from Handsome Jack. Handsome Jack is boss. To me, Borderlands 2 is the best game that came out this year. I know it was nominated for and won a bunch of awards at the Spike Video Game Awards, take that for what it is, but Borderlands 2 gave me the longest and most sustainably awesome video game experience that I had all year. Now, as you know, if you've been following my channel, myself and Nick, FL1000111010101 on YouTube, uh, did a Borderlands 2 Let's Play for a while. We kind of cut it off due to lack of interest, but if anybody out there happens to be interested in us bringing the Borderlands 2 Let's Play back, Hit me up in the comments section below. If we have enough interest, we may be bringing the Let's Play back. Who knows? Borderlands 2, absolutely my number one best game of 2012. So just to go over the top five here with you one more time, we had honorable mentions to Hitman Absolution, Skullgirls, and Slender the Eight Pages. Number five game of the year was Far Cry 3. Number four game of the year was Dishonored. Number three game of the year was Walking Dead the Game. Number two game of the year was WWE 13. And my number one best game of 2012 was Borderlands 2. That's it for this video. Please come back, check out the Generic Sports Awards. Don't worry, there's sports content coming. There's Generic Sports Awards coming up in the next video. I hope you come back and join us. Justin, Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter, and it's the 2012 Bridgewater's Finest Awards.